In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new Switch emulator for Android called Sumi. Now this is a fork of Sudachi, which is a fork of Yuzu, that is being built for the best performance on Android devices. The phone I am using in this video is a Samsung Galaxy S24 FE, which has an Exynos 24E CPU and 8GB of RAM. I will also be using an Android controller with my phone called the GameSir X5 Lite. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over to the official Sumi GitHub page. I will leave the link to this page in a pinned comment below. Once you are here, scroll down until you see assets. And we're gonna download this first one here. This file is not harmful, you have nothing to worry about, download anyway. Now go to your downloads on your phone and go ahead and tap on that Sumi file. And then install this app. Now go ahead and open. Accept the legal disclaimer. Get started. Go ahead and grant permission for notifications. Now we need to install our keys and I am sorry, I cannot tell you here where to find keys. Just do a Google search and I'm pretty sure you will find what you need or you can check out my Patreon page, link in the description and I have a video that can help you out with this there. So I backed out of the emulator and I'm gonna open my My Files app. I'm gonna go to internal storage. And inside of my internal storage, I have created a folder called Switch ROMs. And inside of that folder, I have a few Switch ROM files and I have my prod.keys and title.keys, as well as an updated firmware file. So I suggest create a new folder on your phone, name it whatever you like, and move all of your needed files to get this emulator up and running into that one folder. Now back over on the emulator, go ahead and tap select keys. Now I'm gonna locate that folder I created. So I'm gonna tap on these three little dots in the top left. Then I'm gonna select the name of my phone. And if we scroll down, we can see all the created folders on my phone. And here's that folder, Switch ROMs. And then I'm gonna select the file prod.keys. Keys successfully installed. Now we need to add our firmware file and I cannot tell you where to get that here as well. Once again, do some research or check out my Patreon page. Select firmware. And my firmware file is also in that folder I created, Switch ROMs. And just to let you guys know, do not extract your firmware file, leave it in a zip format. Go ahead and tap on it. You may have to do it twice. Import it successfully. Now let's add our games. And unfortunately, this is another thing that I cannot tell you here on YouTube where to find. Do your research or check my Patreon. We are already in that folder containing my Switch ROM, so we're just gonna tap on use this folder. Then tap allow so Sumi can access this folder. Tap the box for deep scan. Okay, continue. Now, if your Switch ROMs do not load in here, then that means they are in the wrong format and they need to be extracted, which you can do using your Android built-in extractor that will extract your ROMs into an XCI or NSP format that is playable. Now, let's go over here to the top left and click on the gear icon. Go to emulation settings, tap on graphics. Right here, you will see resolution. The resolution you see on the left will be in handheld mode. The resolution on the right will be in dock mode. By default, this emulator will automatically run in dock mode and your resolution will be set to 1080p. Now, if you start experiencing a lot of lag and stutter once you start playing a game, the first thing you want to do is come back here and try lowering the resolution. Most likely, this will fix the issue. If you don't have a phone with a powerful chipset, don't try to overdo it and isotropic filtering. Now you do not have to do this, but I prefer to do it because it makes your textures look a lot better. I'm gonna go four times. We are done here, let's go back and back again. 
Now let's go over to controls, player one. Now, if you're gonna be using on-screen touch controls, you can skip this step. But since I am using an actual controller, I'm gonna go to auto map a controller. And as long as you have your controller connected to your phone, you should see the name of that controller pop up. In my case, here is my GameSir X5 Lite. I'm just gonna tap on that. Now we want to scroll down to make sure the emulator actually mapped our controller out. And as you see next to the buttons, there's game, sir. Let's go back and back to the main screen. And at this point, we can go ahead and load up a game. Now, if you swipe from the left or the right of your screen, you should have some options and we can go ahead and click on overlay options. And in here you could turn on and off your FPS counter, your thermal indicator. You can edit your overlay if you are using on-screen touch controls. You have quite a few things here. Now, since I am using an actual controller, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck show overlay. Now, if we go back to our game, you will see that our on-screen touch controls are gone. And just for the recording of this video, I'm gonna leave my FPS counter and thermal indicator showing. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.